Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the soul the truth lies within, and we're going to talk about the three hundred forty-six day of a godly blessing, where Supreme God Father says or informs us as to how to go ahead with making ourselves purer, making ourselves hard effort makers in purifying the self, that is the soul. So let's see what is Baba Abdul. Eh? Baba says, may you be an intense effort maker who follows Father Brahma and claims a first number by keeping your destination in front of you. Until or unless the destination isn't clear, nobody can achieve anything in their life. Same goes for your own physical world where there are certain accomplishments which we go for. And if the destination is not clear, then obviously we cannot reach there. So let's find out what does the spiritual destination talk about here. Baba says, intense effort makers always keep their destination in front of them. They never look around here and there. That means they don't look at other souls or try to copy other souls or try to become like other souls other than Father Brahma over here. Souls who claim a first number see but do not see. That means they do not see mistakes in others, do not see faults in others because the soul having a mind it becomes very easy to remember faults of others in this kaluk especially and we don't have a rubber or any kind of an eraser where we can erase something from the mind we have to superimpose anything which we remember in the past with certain things which are better right now and that superimposition if we keep on remembering other people's mistakes or their faults or what bad they have done that will make a home in your mind forever and at the end of the day or in some days we'll end up doing the same mistakes which was which we're looking in others that's what god says protect yourself from others so hear but do not hear that means they do not hear anything evil they do not see anything evil they do not hear or get into gossips or find out about or feel happy by knowing that somebody made a mistake yes we sometimes can feel egoistic or boost our ego by knowing that okay that other person fell down or faltered or did not reach the destination and we feel that we are happier right that's what happens in the competition nowadays so god says if you see that if you hear that then someday you are going to be a victim to it fall yourself so they hear but do not hear anything evil anything wasteful they keep their destination in front of them. That means they're just looking forward, not looking here and there and wasting their time, wasting their energy. They keep their destination in front of them and follow Father Brahma. That's what Father Brahma did. Father Brahma or Adam consider himself to be one who does as he performed actions and never considered himself to be the one who inspires everything. That means he followed godly guidance. That is Srimad. And never consider that I am doing it. People should follow me. He just followed godly guidance, what God taught him, told him to do, and he rest he rested on those laurels of achievements which were followed by following the godly guidance. But he never thought that I have done it, it's my way of doing it, or my idea of doing it. This was why he was always light means lighter in their mind so father brahma was always lighter in his mind he didn't have the ego of i me myself even while looking after his responsibilities he always felt that god is going to get it done through me so while taking your responsibilities if a leader is looking at somebody's bad or is looking at or hearing about evil things from other people which happens a lot sometimes in our life also if you're the head of the family or the head of the organization you might have certain people who come and tell you what is going on in the organization and might even take advantage of it and uh, fill your ears with evil and uh, make you sway away from your destination, even in your business, even in your workplace. So God says, Father Brahma never did that. He never took anybody's side or he never heard anything against anybody or never, even if he saw something bad, he always looked for the best in that person. That's what Father Brahma did. And that's why he was always sending out good vibrations, positive, pure vibrations. 
and people who filled that love from him stayed along with him that's why he's father brahma or adam so this is what we learn in brahma kumaris also but there's much more to it that can be explained in just few minutes over here for which you'll have to visit brahma kumaris godly spiritual university in, to learn it in details om shanti